Welcome back to another episode of the School of Railway. Been busy doing other things. Today, uh, one of my residents encountered a bougie, and the bougie either became a, her friend or her enemy. So, I have to show you two more techniques of using the bougie in slightly unorthodox manners that may help you. So, there's one technique. I saw a doctor and a nurse anesthetist in shock trauma in Maryland use the Bonju method. So basically, use the bougie, and instead of like a D grip, actually bends it to an angle that he will be able to bend at the back end and fit. And AK stuff to the back end of the ET2. And once you do that, it should be hard to loosen. You turn to the right or the left. I think I may have I'm gonna adjust it to have more. So, right here, so right here, I inserted too much of the bougie in the back end and too little in the front end. By doing that, I can't fully utilize the bougie the way I want it to, so I'm going to pull it back. See this? Pull back. More in the front, less in the back, but I can still use the bougie. Okay? I can still intubate. Pet peeve, really keep your blade in after you find the glottic opening. Insert your bougie. See it? Slowly insert, gently with the tip, angle the tip up. Keep the blade in to make the path of the ET tube with the bougie smoother, smoother with the Bonju method. Smoother. So you can take it out, morbidly obese patients or patients with big fat necks, the path of the ET tube entrance will be more acute instead of smooth. Into Instead of smooth into the glottic opening. Does that make sense? So now disengage. A little deep at 26. Pull back a little bit. At 22, 23, you're set. Bonzu method. There's another way of manipulating the back end of the bougie to insert correctly. Make sense? Again, quick refresher. So I have to go midline. I don't use as much of the angle down. Bend it at the back end. Right where it bends, where it meets at the ET tube. Bend it again. Sharp angle. And that should be able to stuff itself. You should be able to stuff the back end to the ET tube. And now I can actually change the angle of the tip by turning to the left or turning to the right. To the left, to the right. Not bad. Try it next time. 